Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today from the Fitchburg Senior Center, it's Jill McCone. Jill, uh, welcome back to the show. I think this is the first time that we're literally in the same building. Okay, we may yeah. not be in the same area, but we're in yeah. the same building. I'm tempted to come up there, you know. I, you know, if we weren't in the middle of some construction up here, we would totally have you come up, but uh, we, uh, we don't have that. We could have came to you though. I mean, there is that, but you yeah, know, which maybe we will next time because uh, things are moving right along uh, for uh, things opening up in the senior center. Uh, I think you've done a great job of getting things prepared and, and ready to go, but uh, what is your synopsis of today uh, uh, where you're at uh, and with things being open? I like this, what COVID? That's what's like. <laughs> there We're you not go. completely, but you know, um, we did slowly sort of um, have some folks come back last month in May, you know, very quietly, mm -hmm. a few pilot programs with the social distancing and the masks. Um, but when Dane County changed their mandate, we just, we just kind of followed along and said, we're going to open our doors and we welcome anybody back who feels comfortable. Um, you know, we obviously follow Dane County. If you're not vaccinated, ask you to wear a mask. We won't ask. Um, but we just want people to come back at their comfort level. But there's really nothing this month that we are not offering. Everything is kind of back in swing. Um, before we went live, I was telling Jeremy, we had six or seven people here for lunch. The bus is able to bring people here and, and um, people are happy. They're just really happy to be back and, and feel kind of normal again. So I, I, I feel really good about it. We're not, you know, we're not busting down the doors, but you have a sense of normalcy and that feels really good. It does. And it, and you, you still, uh, we were talking too about this. It, you know, I don't feel like we've really been under pressure to open up. You haven't, I mean, you've obviously people wanted to get back in there, but I think things have come along uh, working with Dane County and working with, with all the different senior centers and, and people mm -hmm. out there. I think we've, we're coming back in a, a, a responsible way, but, uh, but at a comfort level that, that can work for everybody, not just the, the folks, but your staff too, because your staff, right. you know, I can't think of a more hands-on department than, than right. the senior center. Right. And it's hard not to be hugging everybody up when they come in or you know, <laughs> shaking their hand and welcoming them back. And, you know, I, I, again, we've talked about the numbers. Dane County is, is, you know, their stats are really good in terms of vaccinations for all people, but particularly over 65, we're at 94%, I think the last time I checked. So um, there, there is a level of comfort here while we're still trying to be cautious. Um, but um, yeah, it, it does. It feels good. It feels good not to, to be thinking about what what we're going to do now so yeah. and i think you know we we coming back last week uh when everything kind of the mask yeah. you know it was still weird to not have the mask versus right the, i still carry my mask around yep. pretty significantly yep. uh because we want to make it make everybody feel comfortable when they do right come in and uh as right. part of that so um i think that's awesome uh, well uh, let's talk about some of the great programs that you do have going on because uh, there's a lot of them um mm -hmm. uh, uh pick on this outdoor exercise one <laughs> maybe not right now jill with the oh, uh, temperatures so but uh, so uh tell us uh tell us a little bit about this? Well, I think that's a boot camp. Um, you know, I think we changed the name actually. Oh, it's out. We, we stopped calling it boot camp because last month we tried it outside. And I think the word boot camp has a, you know, a connotation of, you know, it's just <laughs> grinding it out hard. And so we changed it to outdoor exercise um, with Melissa and it's going really well. They meet at McKee Park. It's a small group, but just another option for people that don't want to be in a confined space or maybe they enjoy that day or time. Um, so, so yeah, we hope to continue offering that. Um, so yeah. And then, you know, the aerobics and the other stuff I'm excited because we're able to offer aerobics, um, yoga. I'm trying to think of some other things that we're going to do a hybrid so people can, they can come in, they can zoom. And I will say with, with COVID, I don't think we would have been pushed this quickly to use that platform for offering programs. I and mean, we've thought about it in the past, but now we're able to do it. And it's not people like one lady said, I can keep exercising, but I can't come in because I babysit for my grandkids, but now I can Zoom. And, you know, so, uh, so I'm happy that we were forced to use that and that we can continue to use it to meet a lot of different needs that we weren't meeting before. So it's good. 
Yeah, we've had a lot of people actually call uh, that were watching. We uh, did some upgrades and uh, one of the workout programs got um, got off our server. We oh, got funny. a bunch of calls that nice. we want to work out every, you know, and it's like, oh, we'll get it back up there. I promise. I promise. You know, and I I, I think it's great. I think it opened it up to a new world yeah. and, and brought people up uh, uh, to that next level, whether, they, yeah. whether you wanted to or not. But uh, having that right. option and you're right, the dynamics and family has changed significantly. So right. uh, having that option, I think, is amazing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how about this virtual mind over matter? I, I think this one comes up every single year and I always want to make sure we get it out there because it's so important. It is important. Mind over matter, healthy bowel, healthy bladder. Again, it is just for women right now. Dr. Heidi Brown developed this many years ago and um, it's always been a really popular class. Um, and, you know, of course we were scheduling this, you know, a couple months ago before we knew the mandate would be dropped. Um, and so, but I think the virtual, it'll be interesting to do this, this, uh, to offer it this way, because some people are more, um, maybe embarrassed about, you know, admitting that they have some issues with incontinence, which, you know, you shouldn't, these are normal things that are happening, um, but they don't, you don't have to deal with them. So I'm hoping that this one is popular. I think we have a couple signed up so far. Um, and you do have to attend all three sessions because there's a lot of homework and a lot of class engagement and for it to be successful, um, they do want you to attend three. So yeah, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, definitely get involved. A good one. Uh, real quick, want to sneak in the meal program updates. Yeah. You got a partnership coming in with Hy-Vee. I was excited to yeah, hear you right. this uh, before. So uh, tell us what this one's about. So this is something that the county has been doing at other sites for, for several years called My Meal, My Way. Uh, you know, to be completely honest, when it first was rolled out a few years ago, I wasn't really hip on the concept because to me, you want people to come to the center to socialize, to engage in other activities, to meet new people. And I always felt like, well, if we send them to a restaurant, you're just going to go up there with your friends, eat with your friends and then leave. Um, so I was not um, real uh, excited about the opportunity. So when it came back around, um, we have worked so well with Hy-Vee over the years. They're a great partner. Um, people know Hy-Vee here in Fitchburg. And, you know, I just opened my mind to a, just a broader way of thinking that a lot of our congregate people that come on the bus, they don't have the opportunity to go eat anywhere else. They don't have transportation. Maybe they don't have the funding to, you know, drop $10, $15 on a meal. So we are going to start partnering with them next month on the July 7th. Um, they will, we won't be offering meals here. So if you do want to eat that day, it's only at Hy-Vee with a limited menu staff person will be up there checking people in. It's for anyone 60 and over and it's a donation. So um, yeah, I'm kind of excited. So I let go of my own, you know, <laughs> thoughts about what this might do and looked at the possibilities of, of how to, you know, engage more people and open it up to more people. So yeah. Absolutely. Well, you got to try it once, right? That's, I know. Try I know. it and see it's, how it works. And I, I, you're very protective of your folks, <laughs> which is a good thing. I, it's you're like a big mom. Like, okay, don't you be talking to my kids like that? Yes, you don't, don't you go don't. somewhere else besides the senior center to eat? This is where you need to be. Yeah, I am. Well, I'm thinking, Jill, that uh, we'll just all go up there for lunch, right? And we can we can stay high to everybody still, right? And you, oh, you're for sure. Crying, well, right? and again, yeah, a staff person has to be there. So, so yeah, I'm letting go of my old, you know, my old thinking ways and just to like I'm like an old curmudgeon like no only anybody needs to come here and so <laughs> uh, no worries it's gonna be good and uh yeah to, you know if you got any questions certainly contact yeah. you and uh, yep. uh or the staff down there and you will uh, get them all set up for that all right Jill we're out of time uh always fun to catch up with you and uh like I said uh, hopefully a lot of people stop in and say hey and if you're not yeah. comfortable yet hey yep. the door's open when you're ready right absolutely absolutely yeah all right well, Jill, All thank right. you so much. We'll talk to you next thank month. Thank you, guys. All right. All right, Jill McCone, uh, best director I know of the Senior Center uh, here. Oh, we've got the best. Mm. Well, we just got the best one here in Fitchburg, so it doesn't matter. And uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll check back in with her next month. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. <laughs>